Are you hosting a meeting or a video call in Zoom and you're wanting to look more professional, have a more professional setup to your call? Well, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a virtual event and in-person event producer, and I have spent countless hours, days in Zoom, making it do everything from virtual award shows and conferences to webinars. And these are three things that I always do as the host of a Zoom call that have just helped elevate it and add that little extra level of polish to my video calls. So I'm gonna lay out three steps of things I always do at Zoom calls, and that just adds a little bit of fun and professionalism to my calls. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events Podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. And we dive even more into some of these topics. We talk about Zoom, we talk about virtual events, event planning, event production, you name it. And we dive a little bit more in depth than what I do here on YouTube because of our longer episodes. So listen wherever you listen to podcasts. So these three steps, if you are experienced with Zoom, they might seem obvious to you. But for someone who maybe is a little newer to it, or you just wanna make sure that you're doing all the right things, these three things I do every single time I'm in a Zoom meeting, and especially if it's like a larger call, but the first two steps you can apply to any Zoom call. Third one I will say is for maybe when you have multiple people on your call. All right, so here we are in Zoom, and I would be pretending this is my Zoom meeting. I own this meeting, so I've sent the link to everyone who's joining me, and I'm gonna get in here first. And so the first thing that I love to do, and I have a video on it, I'll link to it, is all about hiding self-view. So this is where you're gonna go to view, and you're gonna click hide self-view. Now, when you're first in the meeting, it's not gonna show anything because you need to have somebody else at least in the meeting, but what I just did there is I'm gonna hide my window from myself. So I'm not distracted as I am now when I make these videos because I already see myself once, now I'm seeing myself twice, but you can avoid it by hiding self view. You hide yourself so you can really focus on the person you're having the meeting with. Now the second tip I will often do in probably 80% of my meetings is I will automatically go down here and just click on chat, especially if I have a group call. If it's a one-on-one, -on -one, we're gonna be talking back and forth conversationally, so I don't really need to have the chat open, but I almost always will go in first and open the chat. That's why it's there. It's not gonna ping and pop up in my eyes or I'm trying to find the chat. Here's the chat. Chat's just right next to me here in Zoom, which I love. So hide self view, open chat. Third pro tip, and I will link to the video where I show you how to do this, is going to be to play background music as people come in. My least favorite thing as an event person, both in person and virtual, are those awkward moments, those transitions where no one knows what to do. And I often call, say con transitions are like condiments on a sandwich, which is that you don't really notice them when they're there. Let's say you put mustard on your sandwich, your mayonnaise. You're not really going to say, wow, Logan, I just had the great sandwich and that mayonnaise was amazing. You're probably going to talk about the meat, the lettuce, the cheese, whatever else is in there, or even the bread. Last thing you might think about is the mayonnaise or the lettuce. But when you have a dry sandwich, you remember that there's no condiments. I have memories of dry sandwiches that are condiment free and it didn't matter how fancy the meat was or how fancy the cheese was or the bread. I just remember it was dry. Same with transitions. And so to save yourselves the awkwardness of let's give it a few minutes and we all sit here in silence or somebody on the call is unmuted and just clearing their throat. I love to play music. And background music is my key because you don't want it to be club music super loud unless that's the goal of your event or your meeting. But so this is super easy in Zoom. You're going down to share screen and then you're gonna click advanced and you can click computer audio only. Then you're gonna click share. So now you're sharing your computer sound. So my player of choice on my laptop is Spotify. You could use Apple Music, you can do Windows Media Player, whatever it is that you listen to music. So now I'm gonna play music and the key is just keeping it background music. You're keeping it nice and low. So I'm hitting play here and you're gonna look down. It's only at 10% or so, 10%. And I'm playing music into Zoom. And why is it at 10%? It's because I like it that it's at a talkable level. I can talk over it. This is a great feature because I can talk over it. That's why it's background music. So I can welcome people to my call. Say welcome, hey Jane. Hey, you know, Jessica, great to have you here. We're just gonna give it another minute or two. And I've just got this background music going. It's just underneath what I'm saying. 
And then what you can do once you're ready to start your meeting, if you want to be really fancy, is I usually will fade the music out in the volume player of Spotify. I'll just fade it down. And then you don't have to even stop sharing if that's something that stresses you out because you're just sharing the audio. So as long as now you're not playing music, you can hit stop share or you just hit that lovely red button, stop share, and it's gone and you're ready to kick off your meeting. Now, the cool pro tip about this tip is it makes people smile. And one of the things with virtual that people complain about, you're tired, you've been in a lot of meetings, you have a lot of things going on. And one of my favorite things to do is to give people a reason to smile. And it just, just them doing that by playing a song like that, like Cloudy Day by Tones in One. Pick a fun song, not something insulting, not something too crazy, but just something that's got a little, it's got a little like beat to it. It's a happy song. This is talking about there's still happy things on a cloudy day. And you're going to notice some people are going to kind of bop a little bit in their chair. You get that smile and you're just bringing the right energy to your call. And I have never had this backfire on me. I've never had this received in a bad way. So if you are looking to up your game in your next Zoom call, and you could really apply this to any video call, I get this, I guess at this point, play some music. So hopefully you feel like you learned something. You got one of those tips of how you can look like you're a Zoom pro at your next Zoom call. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. And I appreciate you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.